Greetings and salutations and welcome to the Star Citizen Monday Q&A, which has probably been mislabeled on Twitch because Bush League Streaming, I think I forgot to update the name on before I launched the stream. Kind of tired today. I'll just update the name later. So don't let it fool you. It is not Star Citizen Sunday because um, it's Monday. Anyway, so we're floating out here in a brand new Defender heading down towards the planet of Microtech. Thought I'd change the scenery up just a little bit today. Microtech, in my opinion, is, is kind of a marvel of uh, graphical tech. And uh, in fact, the whole city, the whole planet is a single city, which is for those who don't know, uh, are just stopping into the stream because of reasons. And uh, there's no loading screens, of course. You're gonna, I can fly all the way down, land on a building, any old building, any of the millions or billions of buildings that's on here. Pretty awesome. So, of course, this is the Monday Star Citizen Q&A, where we take your questions, we talk about things you have interest in, and we cover the news. So, let me go ahead and start by saying that uh, the Star Citizen Sundays are going to be put on hiatus for a little while, since Evo Cotti uh, builds are now coming out. Uh, basically, I'm going to be doing the testing in those. And uh, now, when, when it goes to Wave 1 PTU, the Star Citizen Sunday, of course, I'll play with anyone that has a access to Wave 1 PTU. But if not, I'll be using those days to show off the features uh, in 3.15 once, once they become the NDA is dropped. And then just kind of hang out and we'll talk about it. So that's what we'll do there. And when it goes to live, we'll just resume as normal. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. As far as everything else goes, um, let me go ahead and pull up some things. Before we get into the main subject, of course, which is their change or retconning to the lore of uh, basically how death happens in the verse. Let me go ahead and pull up some of the ship updates that we had this week. Uh, some of the upcoming ships that we can look forward to, many of which I actually own or own the bigger variants of. Alright, so first of all, we had an update to the Ares. The Ares is really coming along and moving into the final phases of production. You can see they're, they're putting placing all the internal components, how you access them, and everything in there. And I have the Ares Inferno, not the Ion. Uh, which is the black variant, the one with the big Gatling gun, you know, Daka Daka Daka. And I'm all about the Daka Daka. But uh, yeah, this is one of those ones that I'm uh, kind of looking forward to. I'm also kind of apprehensive about, considering the, the nature of the changes of ammo and physicalized weapons and how all that works. So I guess we'll have to see how it progresses, you know, how it actually handles, how it all comes together. That's the Ion. It looks like it, looks like it has the, the, the Inferno gun on it, though. Maybe I haven't finished the Ion gun. Cause yeah, because it's using the Inferno gun on the other one. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, here's the here's the here's the uh, the Inferno, and so uh, they're just changing the they're changing the, the colors. The, they're changing the colors on this. I mean, they're not really because the, the gun is a different gun on on, yeah. on the Ion, so I find that kind of odd. All right, and of course we had some really good updates to the Redeemer, uh, some weird updates as well. So let me go ahead and pull that one up here. Now, Redeemer, of course, is going to be also in 3.15. They'll probably in an X patch later after release. Really coming along. The ship looks like it's significantly larger. Like, you almost, like, just live in there. Um, much, much larger than the original concept, at least on the inside. And uh, they do show something weird towards the end of this, where they start to animate these little things right here. And, and I'm not exactly sure why they would do that. I mean, if I remember right, with the Four Horsemen, the, the, the original team who made it said that those were <laughs> emitters. And I would imagine that Instead of turning those into piston pumps, this, this is just a test thing. I want to see what, what they can do with it. I thought, well, I thought those arms were there so that those, those, um, those emitters can be, you know, uh, lowered inside the ship to be worked on inside the ship. Not so they could be piston pumps or anything like that. It's like you hit a button, the emitter retracts into the ship, like slides down, like it comes down in front of the person so they can actually do repair work or replace an emitter during combat. And that was, I thought, how they described what, what the, they were made to be accessed from the inside. This piston pump thing is really weird, and I hope they don't stick with it. I hope they just basically go with the idea of um, just making an, making an item that's accessible for repair inside the ship. Uh, they're just making sure that our frame rate's even lower. Yeah, there Adding we go. more stuff like this inside the ship. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll have to see. That, 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 just, that piston pump thing, as I said, just grain of salt. Didn't they also do anything like another small little update on the on the uh, vulture? Um, yeah, actually, I was about to get into that. Okay, good. So here's the vulture, um, and of course, vulture is entering also its uh, its uh, more detailed phases. I don't think I know how close they are to being ready to to get this out, but <clears throat> man, I tell you what, having this one as well, 
And therefore, you want to engage and talk with the ladies about pistons and camshafts. There you go. That's exactly right, hero. That's a, that's a conversation starter. Hey, baby, want to <laughs> see want to want to see my 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 throbbing emitters? Uh, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, this is really this is looking nice. Um, now, obviously, I think this is the ship they're going to work on first for getting salvage to go because my redeemer is still sorry my reclaimer is still waiting to be an actual functional ship other than an overly sized, um, overly slow cargo ship. And as I said, I haven't done cargo in a while, largely because of the fact that uh, we're sitting in, in a situation that uh, the 30Ks, which we had literally right before the stream. I was flying a Caterpillar before the stream started, by the way. I had a th the whole server shut down on a 30K. So I said, screw it. Scrap the Bannon Defender because I, I had to reclaim the, the, the Caterpillar. So that's why I'm in this ship. But yeah, so that's one of the reasons I don't do, I don't do cargo is because the, the, the servers come up and down at random times. You lose everything. Which is the one of the big issues we talked about last week with the incoming uh, upcoming inventory changes, and so on and so forth. So that's been a big concern of losing stuff just because you get disconnected. I guess I'll find out tonight as I go ahead and try that. Try to see if there's an Evocati build out, and uh, give it a whirl. Maybe you get to play with cargo boxes that have codes. Maybe Three codes. That... All right. So we had some updates to the hull. A eh? they made the ship bigger, uh, so you could actually get inside of it. Uh, the Hall series, this is one of the ones my brother had. He had a Hall A and a Hall B. But this is one of the Hall A and Hall B, the only ones that can land when laden. And uh, this is looking a lot more like a Miss Prospector, which is fine because it's, it's a Miss ship, so it should have that kind of aesthetic. And uh, I'm kind of curious to see exactly how much clearance those landing gear are going to need, how big everything's going to have to come out to. But this is yeah. this is your, if, as far as low-tier shipping ships go, the A is probably your biggest bad boy for a single, single person low-tier, like, like low cost shipping and, and memory serves the b is hardly a difference in price mm -hmm. and it's almost so they want to it's the a and the b are the ones that actually can land fully load yeah uh, a and the b laden, can. i guess yeah and, and the b is um uh, uh carries significantly more so basically looking at all the different internal component areas they have set up um the, well, the 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 cargo actually uh the ship opens up like the other uh like the other hull series all of them do but it, it's the way that it holds the cargo. It configures it so that it actually it goes out to the sides and not not all like around like like the you'll see in the C, the D, and the E. And I own the D. Uh, they're showing the bathrooms because they had to make the bathrooms bigger to account for NPC pooping interactions. And yes. which, I wish Lando was extremely excited about. Um, so, but yeah, see, when it, 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 this this the C is also the of the of the largest one that can land with landing, uh, but it cannot be loaded. So here they're going to show the animation of actually how the back end works. They also added uh, animation for the, the A. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this thing opens up just like the other ones, but there's no walkway tunnel because it's too small. And then the little arms come out and then basically the cargo gets attached. So there you see. So it's a very much, uh, a very much like all the other hull ships. In fact, all of them. Do I that. think the seas and larger will have that access tunnel that'll go down they into will. the star drive section. That was the big problem for them. That's one of the reasons the ship hasn't come out after all this time. Was they had the the the, the, the people had to be able to travel down that that cart that uh, that spiral, so which means the physics grid changes. So they had to come up with a way to basically uh, allow the physics grids to grow and shrink, to otherwise uh, basically there was no way to to make that ship work. So they actually went and figured out how to do it. So when we start this C come online, we'll be looking at all sorts of new physics glitches. I mean, uh, physics opportunities. And, uh, you know, I, I, I imagine myself getting launched around the ship like a ping pong ball uh, smashed by uh, Goku at like Super Saiyan 9 over 9000 mode as the grids don't know what to do with me. But hopefully this new I grid... Hmm. if they're going to allow on the cargos. They, remember how they originally said that you could swap cargo boxes to put like uh, weapons and or missile pods or yeah, something. Yeah, well, that, like that. I would I wouldn't worry about that right now. Yeah, I know they're. No, I know. no, I'm just wondering if they're going to let the A and the B to be able to do that. Maybe say somebody wants to carry some really high end expensive. But cargo but the thing is, is about the A and the B, they, they're 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 not going to be carrying that scale. I mean, I, I don't. It's possible, maybe. Yeah. But I I don't see them initially even attempting. I don't I don't even see that as much as that was a feature for the ships. Because they said, hey, you can put shield generators instead of cargo like on the interior, so you get like more defense, and then you can sacrifice cargo for more defense or more offense, or ability for snub fighters to land, whatever. So the the, the so I see that as being something down the road because they got to get that modularity built, then they got to build those modular components. 
So this is this is like right now we're just getting the basic ship, and then there's other features that come online later. You know, I'm sure they'll 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 make that all come together. And speaking of uh, missed ships, and including also an otherwise known as the most uh, phallic ships in the galaxy, we're going to be looking at the updates to the Hall C. The Hall C has had a materials repass done and has had a lot of detail work and updates. Uh, they're going to show the old version, and as you can see here, it doesn't have any uh, landing gear on this, but this one can actually land. Uh, it's just this is the largest one that can land. So there's the old materials, and boy, that is the most phallic ship in the galaxy I've ever seen one. And uh, you know, so it looks like they added more turrets too. If you look at, look at the, <coughs> excuse me, look at those two turrets on the top. Uh, three turrets on the top. Holy crap! This is good. This, yep. this is way. And oh, there's the landing gear. It's way more, way more weaponry. Uh, they added VTOL thrusters that didn't have any before. Uh, looks like a turret in the back. This thing's got like this thing's got a ridiculous amount of weaponry. Um, but yeah, I have the D, so it's bigger than this. The, I, I told Sarsa, I looked, I looked at Chris Roberts, and I, 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 I squinted my eyes and I looked him dread in the face and said, "Give me the D," and he did. I got the D. So anyway, so. Uh, yeah, this is like that. Ooh, ladders! So I don't have to get stuck on. I, I don't. They didn't have any footage of like uh, of the of this ship doing the um, the expanding or anything like that, or how that what that tunnel looks like, or maybe they did show the tunnel. We just didn't. Be, we don't recognize it from what from, from what they showed. But I'm really curious to see. Uh, <laughs> the engine room. From uh, look at that. No, no turrets on the top. Like nothing there. Now it's like one, two, three turrets on the top right there. In other words, attack this ship from the bottom, and you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, this is, this, the turrets won't, you know, you, I guess it makes sense to have them split up like that too, because you'll have to have turrets before and behind the, um, uh, the actual cargo area, but there's a turret there in the tail, looks like the tail, so, yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, there's your ship updates for the week, looking forward to, uh, I, I'll get a C as a loner, because I have a D. No, no, yeah, the hull is just... The hull is just a cargo ship, and that's fine. I don't expect it to be. I, I don't, not every ship needs to be have a lot, but it should have decent defenses. My hull D is going to be should be pretty tough. But once again, we need to have the whole cargo system, not the lack of 30ks uh, or stability kind of thing to happen, so that I can actually make uh, that more viable. So I can actually use it without fear of losing everything. Or cargo missions where I can just get cargo and ship it. Without, I tell you, what, the materials are huge. Look at that; that looks so much better. Doesn't that old materials? I, de I never, I was never a fan of the the weird <coughs> aluminum bat, aluminum siding shader they had before. It would always look just too too shiny, too shiny. All right, so let's go ahead and kick it on over here. The D will remain stiff. Yes, yes, it will. It's like the living quarters in the in the Star Fair. Everything is like aluminum bat. It's so cold. All right, so as I'm drifting lazily down here to the planet, let me go ahead and pull up. I have, I have uh, the website open on my phone. So before we get into, go, as a precursor of getting into the changes to uh, how you're going to respawn, I'm going to read some of this to you. For those who haven't read the, 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 the actual com link that they put up about this. Now, they're doing a retcon to some of the Now, apparently the Star Citizen, the, the PU, is going to happen... Uh, quite a bit after, or at least a decent amount of time after Squadron 42, because this technology comes online after Squadron 42, which does add implications of, will this technology be present in the sequels, like, or the add-ons, or is that all going to happen before this? But I guess we'll find out eventually, like, by the time I'm 98. Uh, so, so the, the uh, all right, to coincide with a brand new gameplay, the narrative team has been working on some brand new lore. While we always knew that medical science would be advanced enough to bring you back from the brink of death, it was during the recent development period that it was decided that players would benefit from being able to come back even if the Avatar's body was completely lost. While a lot of scenarios could have been explained away by diligent NPCs, emergency response teams finding injured players and bringing them back to civilization, with a game like Star Citizen, there were a lot of cases where even the bravest ambulance pilots would have been able to retrieve you. Imagine a bold explorer flying themselves directly into a sun, or some friendly outlaws firing a size 9 torpedo directly at your head. What ambulance is going to rescue, for, rescue you from that? While we could have declared those instances to be permadeaths and forced players to hand off everything to their next of kin, we were worried about how punishing this would be for people new to playing the game. Understandable in that regards. Uh, this is why it was decided that Star Citizen needed to have a technology akin to cloning, where players could bring uh, their avatars back from death itself, but with a few key requirements the lore would have had to address. Your, your avatar's memories had to be passed on. No point in making a biological copy if they can't remember anything. The process needed to degrade over time so people in the universe are not immortal. How your avatar perish should be reflected in their new body. If you got blown up, we wanted to see those scars and cybernetic limbs. 
We also want characters to age and not just hop into a younger version of themselves. There should only be one copy of someone at a time. No clone armies running around. Oh, we'll get into some of that, like the multi sleeves in the like uh, alter carbon. Anyway, um, uh, copying of stacks. Anyway, uh, with all these additional elements to work in, it became clear early on that the traditional ideas of DNA scans and cloning wouldn't quite meet our needs. Instead, the narrative team worked to create our own fiction to explain the science behind these 30th century medical miracles. Please give a warm Star Citizen welcome to Regeneration. Below is a breakdown of some of the important terms relating to regeneration, some of which you'll be seeing in 3.15, as well as a brief history of the development of this new technology. Let me wiggle my stick here. That's the game's going to think I'm AFK. I'm not. Um, all right, so so they had the retcon here. Um, since we need regeneration to be fairly commonplace and widespread 2951 in order to match the gameplay, we had to set the timeline of the lore earlier. However, we also didn't want to invalidate too much earlier lore where the characters got killed and stayed dead. That means that people of the verse have been living with the regeneration a bit longer as you as players have, but not too much longer. Moving forward, all lore should, be hopefully, uh, should hopefully correctly incorporate the history of regeneration and its effect on the lives of people beyond the UEE and, be uh, UE and beyond. Of course, with all of our systems and act development, below expected, uh, expect the below to keep being refined as the gameplay matures. I hope it will serve as a solid foundation which we can build from. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you some of the terminology here. <clears throat> let me get a drink of coffee too so I don't choke. Mmm, coffee. Alright, so imprint. Uh, the term for a complete and holistic bioscan of an individual that is not only creates a record of one's DNA, but also all their memories, thoughts, and personalities. While imprints can be transferred between spheres without loss, only one copy of an imprint can exist at a time. Updating the imprint will override all previous imprints. Regeneration. This is the term for the process for the imprint users to recreate the DC store source. The information, uh, using the information stored in the imprint, a new body is regenerated that is near identical copy of the original barring the effect of any echoes. Echoes are like, uh, you know, I guess they'll be down below. Um, the, Ab the Abraham Sphere. The technology inside medical beds and scanners that allows them to create and store implants. Made out of advanced materials that are alien in origin, the technology behind the spears was made public to encourage mass production and development. It is important to note that not all spears are created equal. Higher quality spears are better able to preserve imprints and cause less trauma during the regeneration process, allowing for more cycles before viability failure. Traumatic Response Echo Known commonly as an echo, this is the term used to describe the link between an imprint and its source. When a major traumatic event occurs, such as the death or even regeneration itself, the psychological impact of it can be sometimes be strong enough to permanently, permanently alter the imprint. For example, if a person's legs are crushed prior to death, there's a possibility that an echo will be created that will alter the imprint so the individual's legs are no longer functional. Echoes are the reason why patients may regenerate bearing scars and wounds of how they died. While only one copy of a person can exist at a time, regeneration itself also creates echoes. And over time, an individual's imprint will degrade and become less viable. This is also why imprints cannot be used to extend the life of the process of aging itself echoes through the imprints. Uh, however, testing has shown that the higher quality of medical equipment and sphere, the less severe the, the impact of echoes will be. All right, this is this is your lives right here, your your imprint viability score, IVS. This is the number used to rate the viability of an imprint to be used in regeneration. Owing to the, the degradation experience from echoes, imprints eventually become so damaged they are no longer viable, and the individual will no longer be able to be regenerated. Using higher quality imprints and equipment helps prolong the patient's VI IVS. And of course, regen, that's slang for regeneration, obviously. Uh, cycle. This, this term refers to the period between regenerations. People will ask each other, um, uh, people will ask each other what cycle they are on to uh, inquire how many times they've been regenerated. People are sometimes impressed by how long others have gone without needing a regen. Dangerous first if you have to have regen. Like, you wake up, for, you meet someone, hi, I'm on cycle three. Um, yeah, I, it's like I'm, I just stay home. I, 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 every time I go outside, I risk dying. Uh, gap. The length. Of, uh, this, this term refers to the length of time between an imprint being made and when someone is regenerated. The longer the gap, the more memories and experiences will be lost. Frequent imprinting is strongly encouraged. And Bio T Corp Regen Serum. This advanced progenitor distillate is used as base materials in which cells, tissue, and organs can be bioprinted for use in regeneration. And wipe. That's basically when you. That the long and short term of that, that's basically when your 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 echo is, your regeneration is so bad you, you just can't regenerate anymore. Your character's dead, make a new character. And um, 
or all right so yeah uh dead there was a thing on there that talked about wipe if somebody somehow blocks your regeneration yeah so anyway they also have here a whole list of things so about the history and whatnot so this was going to change a lot of i just wanted to read some of the terminology so you know i don't I, there's there if you go to the main page you'll find the rest of it. i'm not going to read the rest of it because it's, there's still a bit to go but i just wanted to go over the terminology on it so this whole thing of imprint this seems like it's an amalgamation of several different sci-fis i'm familiar with starters let's do the most obvious one ultra carbon uh, for those of you who've seen that Netflix series, basically you're, you are stored in, in these little discs that are in, implanted in your spine, base of your base of your skull, uh, around your spine. They're, they're called stacks. Now, when you die, your uh, your memories are stored in, or basically um, uh, stored in the stacks. You're basically put into a new sleeve or a body. Um, and uh, for the super wealthy, in the most extreme circumstances, they're, they have they have a memory backup where they basically they have clone farms where they have bunch of extra bodies sitting in wait and if something happens they are instantly uploaded or they're constantly updated at least so uh if they do die maybe like one from an hour ago will come online and then they will only have lost a minimal amount of time of course this does uh, this obviously does bring into a, a question like how does this how is the universe going to react as far as let's, let's look at the religious uh how would religious organizations look at this um that's just one one societal uh, discussion you can have like people like yeah, that was actually something that kind of came up in, in Ultra Carbon that people shouldn't live forever and that, that basically the, uh, there, there are religious organizations that are against the stacks and stuff like that uh, hope of ways not to die um, now also as well if they're regenerating the body from scratch basically with just with echoes you know it reminds me of there the fifth element uh, in the beginning Lilu is basically uh, destroyed except for her hand and they used the genetic information to create in this this vat, this tube, um, to create an, a whole new body from scratch. And in some regards, that reminds me of the fifth element. Now, this is where the lore, I think, breaks down the most. This is the part they talked about. Someone asked them, and this is the part that really, I think, can, can change the entire game if they're not careful. How, if, you're, if, you're, if your memories and stuff are being uploaded or updated constantly... Like, from time to time. Uh, well, let's just say every hour, on, on the hour, whatever. Okay. And how does this... And, and you die, and, you're, and, you're, and your home planet is like a different system. How do you explain that? Where we have to... We, we can't actually communicate through jump gates. We have to actually have couriers and stuff. But we have basically a technology that allows us to transmit across systems updating our genetic information thoughts and memories at the same time we, and they said oh what's well, quantum entanglement is basically what they said now for those of you who have played mass effect if you remember the normandy had a uh, the second normandy i think what it was um, had a quantum entanglement that allowed him to talk to the the guy who was always sitting in front of the sun uh, and what it was is that there are two quantum. There's a quantum particle, I guess, that have been split, and it's, it's in two different locations at once. And when one vibrates, it, or one one is one is uh, manipulated, the other one, no matter where it is in the galaxy, is also manipulated at the same time, allowing them to instantaneously uh, send mass amounts of data, communicate all of that through this quantum entanglement. Now, one of the developers said quantum entanglement, or something something along those lines. The problem with that. Um, is that if they have quantum entanglement that's so so precise and so powerful that they can literally send all your biological profile, all your memories, everything about you, every hour on the hour or so, right? How do we? What? Have, why do we need couriers? Why do we need any sort of data data interception and manipulation? Literally, there's no way to there's no way to in, 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 there's no way to intercept data ship uh, transmitted through quantum entanglement. Um. So, like, their whole communication system, all their communication lore, kind of, like, goes out the window. Uh, in my personal opinion, my personal opinion, uh, they should, you should have to go and um, do, maybe what you should do is you should, you should do, a, 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 like, when you go into a station or something, there should be something you just, like, like you know when you go to the security areas and they scan, they're supposed to scan you? Then it should scan you there. 
Like it should, it's, it does a scan of you. It also does the the thing for the regeneration. Like it's an, it's like as you walk into a building, like like you you walk into all the airports, you get the, those those security terminals. If they did it there, fine. Uh, I just don't like the idea of them having a transmission technology that's beyond the scope of the game that completely invalidates the the reason that whole swaths of ships even exist. It's a flaw in their logic, and I think they need to be very careful and rethink that one because that one does actually kind of screw over a lot of people. Uh, another issue as well, of course, obviously, uh, bounty hunters. Now, if you can just keep regenerating and regenerating and regenerating, so is it, is it, is it basically, what, what, is there, is there such a thing as a bounty that says, you know, dead or dead or alive doesn't even matter, but it, but say it's dead, right? And they talked about this a little bit. Um, so it's possible that, you know, you have to have a mission where you have to go and take out their, their, their data storage and then kill them. Or maybe you have to go and track them down repeatedly until their score is not viable. Each kill you get off of them is, uh, is more money. Um, restricted area. So the bottom line is, though, is that, like, exactly at what point... Uh, I mean, how, does this gonna, how is this going to affect bounty hunting? Uh, you kill your... You know, you, you, or let's just say in an extreme circumstance. You're, you're getting close to your bounty. Your, bounty. your bounty's like, huh, he's got me cornered. And he just kills himself because he realizes he got him cornered, right? And then he just gets uploaded back to another, a whole different system, and now he's on the run again. I mean, how do you, how do you, how do you stop this stuff, right? Um, yeah, well, that's the thing that they, they, I, I, though you can go back to your body and get your crap, but, you know, but nonetheless, it's it's one of those things that that that, you you, you could have a body there, but the guy's over here now. Um. Yeah, maybe we we'll just say kill them one. But that, but what, what kind of punishment is that? Honestly, if you're if you're a mass murderer, and you're oh, you're a wanted criminal, across you know twelve systems, um, you know you'll be careful, or you'll be dead. Uh, but but, but let's, let's, let's let's say that's the case. All right. Uh, really, what? How 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 afraid is anyone going to be of a ramifications of that stuff? I, mean, I don't know. I, it's it's just I, I'm worried about I'm worried about how. These kind of changes to and, and this look I get it a lot of times I think lore is written too quickly before the mechanics are actually defined and and, and we've got to, this this place this looks you know this looks like the Death Star this part right here because it's just like it's like it's all flat you know but it's like it's not like buildings but I can imagine like having a trench somewhere up here you know I mean, who's looking for a trench I'm looking for a trench where's 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 the, where's the exhaust port there's Tyler sitting there on the right of me um yeah. I love I love this planet. This is so cool. <laughs> Didn't they talk about they showed recently? They were showing eject technology. Uh, they were showing, but I thought it was funny because when they showed the, the clip, animation, they were showing the an yeah. It was but animation, we still don't have a parachute. We don't have a parachute, so now you get to animate better as you death. fall to your death. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that was just uh, I don't know. So anyway, so what what are your guys' thoughts overall on this massive change to Star Citizen lore? This whole idea that I, and I hate to say it, but it has it has kind of massively devalued death of a spaceman, in my opinion. Uh, some people might like it, and, I, and, I, and there's the other side of the coin too. I don't want to be all negative. I understand the concept of not wanting to discourage people who like you just buy the game. You you, you get in your ship, you you don't ask for clearance, and you fly into the door in your war and you die. You make a new character. That's gonna piss people off. Um, you know, there, there's gonna be one of those things that you know. They, 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 they gives them a little bit of slack, you know? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, you're right. It does allow for mistakes. Or desync, or me falling to the planet. You know, pick your poison. I can see it like where EVE Online used to be. You have to constantly keep your clone updated. Uh, otherwise, you would be getting brought back, missing skill points. So I can see yourself keeping your... your self updated for for the next uh, reincarnation of yourself. Well, that's the thing, Rattle. I'm hoping the technology that they have discovered from the Van Duel, well, the, or the technology they said that they got from the Van Duel, we don't know if the Van Duel did it themselves, or they got it from somebody they conquered, um, that this is so alien that we can't use the technology for anything but transferring clones and not transmissions maybe since they're they're retconning it to it being 
in the game but between Squadron 42 and the Persistent Universe. Or they're going to hint that maybe Squadron 42 finds this technology and isn't put uh, into mass scale till yeah. the Persistent Universe. Well, I know that they supposed to have found it from the Vandal, but I, I don't know. Well, what, I think I think even they don't know. That's it. That kind of goes to, yeah. to Rattlehead's uh, qu uh, questions. After nine years, I wanted to hear the mechanics of death. It still isn't clear unless they make a video and show it in action, right? And and, and yeah. it's funny because like the mechanics of death, if you think about it, were nine years in the development, and and death of a spaceman was one of the very early things, right? And and so it's like nine years in. Now they're just trying to think about how it will work. And to me, it's like. It's one of those things that when you see design decisions, you're like, isn't this something that should have been like approached a long, long time ago? Shouldn't it? Shouldn't this? Shouldn't this just been like um, kind of fleshed out? And there are ramifications of an online game, and I get that that they that how I and I've thought about that. Like, what happens if you fly? If you jump into a sun, or like me, you fall to the core of the planet because it's because I logged in. Um, Actually, I'm going to go through a lot of clones. I'm going to go through so many clones. I'm just, I'm just going to call my character, like, I'm just going to start naming my characters one, two, yeah. three. And it's just, not, not even going to bother with the name. Hey, look, it's it's 312. You know? Uh, but yeah, it, it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to be bad. Um, it's just surprising to me when you, when you see that, what these early on core promoted, pitched ideas now basically just barely being thought about. And I guess it's really not important for Squadron 42 and Squadron 42. If you die, you're just going to go ahead and you're going to, you're going to, you know, they're going to say mission over or whatnot. Well, I mean, if you don't want to hurt your score, I would eject and wait for rescue. I would always prefer to get a rescue thing than to, than to lose a, a, a regen cycle, if that's the case. Because there still is an inherent cost to it. I mean, you can only do it so many times, right? And survival in itself is, is, is the game. If you just give up every time there's an, adver an adverse moment, right now you kind of have to because there's no, you know sometimes you get infinitely stuck and there's nothing you could do and there's not, you know there's not, you know it's just it just gets bad. But you know, uh, but down the road, Actually, yeah, it's, it's like when they talked about say I'm just gonna throw out a number. Say you only get twelve regen cycles, but you end up being regenerated in the closest facility because you were not in your regular facility and it's at a one that is not very good quality and they had hinted that say uh this is your first time you died but because you got regenerated at this substandard facility it may have cost you two lives it's like what oh, yeah that's that that's the weird one the lower i, I mean i guess the lower quality ones are mostly held in in like um pirate zones or whatnot because like you know they they they, they don't get the you know they, they have to you know they don't have the higher they don't like grim hex grim hex isn't gonna have like, i was the gonna best say gear. yeah oh no crime stats well it'd be in a sense it's an odd thing it'd be like like an, another side effect of being a criminal is that you don't get access to the best medical and so in that regards you you it's even riskier because you have the less regen cycles um a second here has a question here uh, or a statement uh, the main question I have about clones is, does inheritance tax only kick in after that one character finally dies, their final death, or is there going to be a tax for clones, a different lesser tax than clones, a clone tax, if you if you will? Yeah. You know, you do you think there would be uh, maybe a charge, a fee? Yeah. Uh, for, for uh, you know, you wake up at a regen station, and like, thank you for using, you know, Cannibal Inc.'s, you know, yeah. d deliciousness regenerator. You know, your copy, you've been recreated, and your copy is being sent to the cafeteria. Um, so, yeah, I, boy, the cannibals would absolutely love this stuff, wouldn't they? Um, yeah. It's like, man, I want to, I, I, I want some of that. Boop, copy. All right, so, uh, yeah, I have no idea what it could be with, with the tax, um, with the tax apply per regeneration. I, I think there could be just at, at the actual full echo death, like the full kit and caboodle. Uh, but I think there will be a charge for respawn, uh, or something along those lines. Another another money sink in game. Money sinks in MMOs aren't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I with games that don't have the proper money sinks and for the and for the right reasons tend to get hyperinflation really quickly. I remember playing WoW early on, having a gold piece meant you were wealthy. I mean, it was you were ridiculously what rich if you had a gold piece like during the launch days. Like, oh my gosh, she's got a gold. <gasps> you know, and and now it's like, um, I'll be thirty thousand 
fifty thousand, a hundred thousand gold for that, you know, green item. So yeah, MMOs tend to get hyperinflation over time, so money sinks aren't bad. Uh, it's not even Fallout seventy six has money sinks to some degree, but they also have a money cap, so that kind of balances it off. Um, how will criminals get into clone bodies? Will need a shady organization to help be cloned illegally? Uh, what's the penalty for being illegally made clone death? Okay, that's the thing, as we're talking about. Uh, I think that they, they use the same system. So the thing is, that I, the question I have is that, you know, we talked about, they talked about the lower quality, uh, they talked about the lower quality um, uh, cloning uh, facilities. Now, my thought on that is that basically that there is uh, going to be, uh, probably you see like, for example, the Grim Hex scenario, right? That the clone at the Grim Hex facility wouldn't be as good as the one you would find in Orson. So, in that regards, you may cost you, I don't know, let's, let's just use something simple. One regen point for Orson, two re point, regen points for Grim Hex. And if it's one even, like, worse than that, maybe three. And so, like, you could, so if you're running, you're running the criminal game, there's a harsher penalty. Uh, but then again, you're probably not going to be paying taxes if you're a criminal anyway. You know, what's what's inheritance tax to? Do, are they going to have are they going to have inheritance taxes for criminals working in in an in a lawless zone? Does that even make sense? I mean, if, if you wouldn't you just make another make a successor, and and they would just get it because why why would you why would you follow the law on taxes if you're a pirate? Right. I mean, if I'm out in the law, law, law of the zone, all my stuff is there, and I and I die, and I incur a new character, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna write a check to the UEE. It's just food <laughs> for thought. I mean, you have to look at you have to look at you have yeah. Why would they pay a why the pirate pay tax? Right, exactly. Arr, yeah, no. <laughs> I can't. I want to go out. I want to go out and pillage that village. But instead, I gotta work on my I gotta work on my taxes. April fifteenth is arse around the corner. Are the biggest pirates in the galaxy be the IRS? <laughs> I yeah. just don't see that as being <laughs> yeah. a thing. I don't see that as being a thing. Um, Sounds real life to me, but okay. But yeah, if yeah. You, yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think that's something they got to think about too. Why would you? Gosh, I just opened a can of worms with that, didn't I? Yeah. I just opened a can of worms that CIG oh. probably didn't even think about. How why oh. would it, why would a pirate pay inheritance tax? Yeah. Right? Everyone's just going to be a pirate. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be forced to be a pirate. I have all these ships. I'm like, oh, it's going to cost you all this money. I, I screw up my pirate. Or, or maybe, maybe, maybe if you don't pay the tax, you're considered outlaw. And then outlaws already outlaw. Don't care. They're like, well, if you don't pay this tax, you'll be an outlaw. Like, I'm already a pirate. I'm going to decline yeah. paying the tax. They'd also brought up, say, you're killed with a crime stat. And now you get taken to jail. Yeah. They were talking about how regen's going to work that way too. But you just look at look at the warden and go. It's that wasn't me. That was the other me. <laughs> it's the other me. That guy looked I'm like innocent. me, but I swear, I'm innocent. This me I mean, has I'm never committed a crime ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I, I just I, like them saying, "Hey, if something fell on you and crushed your legs before your death, yeah, that that you will wake up with damaged legs." Well, it's like I said, you know, like like we have advanced prisons in Star Citizen, and you know, the, you, your clone gets to go to jail, and they've actually eliminated showers. So you don't have to worry about dropping the soap. So we have very futuristic, yeah. uh, very futuristic prisons in Star Citizen. Uh, we're good to go. Uh, see, if you make a base, can you have your own clone vat and subvert the pay tax system? Exactly. There's there are some serious questions regarding this stuff that I don't even know if they've even considered. I know they were hinting that it's extremely expensive to to get this equipment. <laughs> So maybe it's like what the jo hero says. Maybe it's like with the Joker when he says, "Look, I may be crazy enough to look. I may be crazy enough to attack the Batman all the time, but even I'm not crazy enough to try to cheat the IRS." <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I remember. I remember. There, I remember. There's that clip on YouTube, isn't it? Um, will there be a ship with its own cloning vat? Yeah, like 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 Battlestar Galactica. You have your clone vat yeah. ships. Uh, that oh my gosh, you just opened up a whole new string of ships. For, like okay, I, I, okay. Well, I do have the um, the Archimedes. Which is the uh, the the medical? I have the, the 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 combat version. That's the highest tier medical ship. Oh, the Cylon ships, the the bat ships. Right, yes. the bat ships. But I wonder if they make like think... a capital one. And of course, they said like, how is this going to affect wars? Right, like if you, if your soldiers know that you know they get they get killed, that can just be respawned. Like, how does that change military tactics? You know, we just threw wave after wave of my men at them until they hit their kill count and finally shut down. Right, men, you suck. 
I mean, just yeah. <laughs> it's just we're gonna have Zap Brown again as our as our as our commander <laughs> of all the all the armed forces. Um, I'm sorry, but I, I I've I've seen clip. I've never seen the show, but that clip <laughs> has been shared for years. <laughs> that man, oh oh I know. Oh my god. Uh, see here. After going to prison, and I would get a new clone, so it wasn't me picking up that soap by accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mark Hamill's Joker in the series says, yeah, but I can't do Mark Hamill very well. Oh. I can't do Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill's Mark Hamill. So I just went with the, uh, uh, you know, I went with what I, what I could try to do. Do you, want, do, you want me try, do you want me to try to do it as Barney, the, the, the lovable pink dinosaur? Oh, oh no, no. Mark. Oh, let's see here. <clears throat> No. Look, I may be crazy enough to tank Batman all the time, but even I'm not crazy enough to cheat the IRS. <laughs> How's that? Is that better? Is it? It's different. No. Uh, so. Yeah. So that suddenly, like your stream has been disconnected. Twitch has banned you from the stream. Um. But yeah, guys. Uh, this is you look at taxes. You look at you look at uh, escaping, uh, evading by suicide. You look at even communication issues by creating this quantum entanglement system that they're having for data transmission. Um, yeah, people are gonna die at least once a day on average. So they'll be like, yeah, I know. Hey, but you, you look look what it's gonna do to the dental industry. I mean, you're gonna have new teeth every day. <laughs> they're gonna be dentists put on jobs. I mean, come on. That is guy like, sitting there going, uh Doctor goes. You need such such surgery. He goes. Well, I I have a cavity. I just shoots shoots himself in the head. He walks back in two minutes later. I'm okay, doc. New teeth. No, it's it's right alt backspace. Yeah. Uh, oh, Medics have just issued him. Died on the table. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> it'd be like it'd be like the first scene from David Tennant. New teeth. Hmm. Strange. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, <laughs> so Barcelona. Uh, um. Yeah. So, anyway, so yeah, it's it's just there's so much there's so many ramifications, and as I said, you know, the whole you can do the whole um, uh, soylent green is like obviously you should be able to should be able if you can generate bodies you should be able to generate food. I'm not saying you, you want to make people food. Maybe it depends on the culture, I guess. But the, the, generally speaking, you you could you could then also produce meat without actually having livestock if you can produce whole human beings, right? Uh, there's just a lot of things that. You have to ask, what's the run-on effect of a technology like this? As far, because one thing I think that bothers me when it comes to sci-fi, a lot of times, is this: this where there's a blatant, blatant hole in 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 in, in a plot line. Do you kill yourself over and over? You don't have to have a party with yourself. I don't want to know what kind of party, but <laughs> I'm so was... warm. Uh, <laughs> ah. I'm so rich. I'm on the twelfth recycle, and I'm doing okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, wor I'm warm. I'm warm for my own form. Um, <laughs> my gosh, that's just there's just all sorts. Of I didn't like there. the sneakers I was wearing an hour ago, so I just died and, and went to a new clothing store and bought some more sneakers. <laughs> what? They talk about how they're not going to let you do lots of clones of yourself, especially for slavery or something. Yeah, but I can yeah. see, but watch, watch that be in the game of aliens if you have something like that, and we don't have that part of the technology. Well, I mean, like it'd be interesting to think. Okay, if they found if they found the technology off of the Bandul, that that begs a question. Uh, did is that is that the reason that Bandul can keep coming at us in swarms? Because like, remember how remember how the more elite warrior, the more elite you are in their societies of warrior, the less armor that you wear. Uh, it's, it's kind of they have this reverse thing. So maybe that's one of the reasons as well uh, They 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 have this thing where they just uh, They're not afraid of dying because the way that they leap in the battle is because they know that they can just get regenerated And maybe their technology is even more re like what we have is, is what we back engineered But what they have is better and is able to be done more often uh, or with less degradation um, Maybe their biology makes it work with them without any flaw whatsoever uh, and it's, since they're, they're using it, hiding it behind the Van Duel, uh, to some degree, is a smart move in the sense of like, because we don't know a lot about the Van Duel, and we don't understand uh, a lot of their uh, the culture, their thought process, methodology of doing things, and so it would make sense to put it behind that wall. I'm wondering about the Banu 
because you know how they're big on keeping stuff in family. Yeah. I'm just wondering when it comes to how many if they have the technology and how. Well, you know, because they they even talked about that where it's and it, it, everything they kind of do is it, yeah. this is inherited from so and such and such family and. It's been in the family tree for a long period of time. I know they were talking about originally when the Banu Merchantman came out, mm -hmm. that it's going to be very rare for anybody but a Banu, someone of the family, to inherit that ship. Well, uh, here it says, would it be possible if someone would try to create a clone while they're still alive for criminal activities and cover their tracks? That's the thing. They said that yeah. the system only allows one unit to be active at a time. Now, it doesn't mean, uh, and same thing with Ultra Carbon, you're only supposed to have one allowed, but you can... You, you, you can Multi-stacking, multi going multi-stack is illegal and punishable by by, by permadeath, by, by stack death. Basically, you're not, you, but but you can make copies. It is possible technically. So that could be an interesting story mission where you have someone who's a pirate because oh no, it's illegal to make copies of myself. Why do I care? I'm a pirate. Yeah. So he's got you know he's got he has you know there's a, he he always has one of him he, two both of them together at all times. And then if one dies, he just makes another copy of himself, right? So like, there's always two of this one guy who runs an organization because he's broke. He's he's basically doing something illegal because he's a bad guy and doesn't care anyway. And so that would be interesting. Uh, he's just like, oh no, you killed, you killed me. I'm back, and so was my other friend over here. And it's also me. Um, so the the bet like in the sense like the best survivor always is the one that gets cloned. Um, so they're going to have body recovery systems uh, here about that says so we don't actually get a death that impacts our input level due to perfect copy uh, being able to be made. Um, yeah, but I guess someone has to retrieve your body, right? I mean, you can't you can't be resurrected with an imperfect body, come back, get your previous course, bring it back, and have their current body redone. So if that's the case, wouldn't someone else have to come out and pick up your body for you, and you still have to wait? They take your body back, and then it's it, it is it's odd. So I don't think there's any way out of. Uh, it doesn't make sense that you know you would already be regenerated and to go recover to get to get a better generate generation. You go back to get your armor and weapons that was on your old body. Yeah. I would say you would have to wait, uh, but it wouldn't make it worth it. Uh, if they need a body to clone, uh, to clone you, and you just leave them uh, uh, a AM DNA sample, <laughs> 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 but they don't need a body to clone you. Just leave them a DNA sample. Yeah. Um, pick, pick your, pick your sample um, source. I don't know. See, this this is this is one of those things. This is a very delicate piece of lore. And there's no way around how this touches everything. I'm not against the concept for an online game allowing you to have lives of some sort. Now, if you think about it, if we have this imprinting, this ability to transmit our minds into a new body, doesn't this also kind of allow us to do this agent smithing that they talked about with NPCs to some degree? I mean, obviously we're just taking over an NPC, but... But I'm just saying is that like it, it, to some degree it, it's it's it'd be something similar now like oh I'm gonna have a, I have a clone in this closet or something and you can t that'd be interesting you have you'd have like null bodies basically they're just they're they're, they're semi bio organic sexless kind of like automatons and then you can you can you can put you can hook into the system and have your mind mentally projected into a like emergency break glass a break you know emergency crewman that's basically no no intelligence no ai it's just it's just an empty shell waiting for a person to take over and run remotely but then again once it, it's like oh but you're using the quantum entanglement again but then once again you're dealing with the whole breaking of the communication thing oh my gosh this is this whole thing this whole thing I don't know. Th th this lore, especially with the quantum entanglement, is throwing me off. I'm sorry about that. I bumped my mic. Um, I'm sitting here, like, thinking. I'm resting my hand on my chin and smacking my mic. I'm just... I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. The communication was a huge deal. I mean, the whole... Couldn't that also work like robo-brains? Transfer yourself to, I don't know. to artificial intelligence? I just feel there's a lot of holes here, guys. I'm sure maybe you feel the same way. There's a lot of holes that could potentially fall through with this. And it's like it becomes so complicated that it starts to like eat itself. The carbuncle is eating itself. Um, see so uh, Agent Smith is different though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that could work in an immersion sense where players take over Android body. It's not a bad idea. Uh, brain explosion meme is needed when thinking about the system. Yeah, it is because there's layers to it. 
And it's not just the layers of how it can function, but what it, what it impacts. It just feels like they've established so much lore. They, you know, what's next? We're going to have inertial dampeners? To oh, no. explain the fact they can't get the physics grids to work correctly? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would I almost be entitled to favor that to some degree. Just like, okay, now you can walk around the ship too largely because, you know. Anti-grav units so that our ships don't have to have a problem with thrusters. It could work oh with boy. some grave. Yeah, it could work with screen. That's it. But also careful game design. With some careful game design. Man, I tell you what, there's something else. But anyway, yeah, guys, it's just, it's just, I just been sitting there thinking about it last night, and I'm absolutely just. I look at the my fleet of ships, Mercury Star Runner. My brother has a Mercury Star Runner. He has a Herald. Uh, those are data runner ships, for example, and. Particularly the Herald. That one's pure data runner. It's supposed to be interceptor. And, and, and data interception. It's a bag of cats Bag of cats game design. <laughs> Shake up the bag. Like, and yeah. <laughs> Let it rip. <laughs> yeah. Shake and open up. I think all the cats here got to be about to get, all, get out of the bag here or something. Oh, They're think of everywhere. this. What if somebody's out in a Herald and they intercept somebody's... Uh, consciousness being transmitted after their death. Oh my gosh, think about that. Intercepting oh. someone's consciousness of a transmission as a mission to basically yeah. force them to respawn in the location you were choosing, like like a prison or, yeah. or something like that. Like, you know, the governor's daughter recently passed away. They're transmitting her data over. We need you to, we're we transmitting your data over for a clone, so we need you to intercept the data so we can take her to this location so we can, we can regenerate her here and hold her hostage. <laughs> If done right, oh, you can have some really wicked freaking missions, right? Um, yeah, I hear it says... You wake up and up. you're like, what am I doing here? <laughs> it's like, uh, this isn't my cloning facility. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is... That's interesting, many, that's interesting. And then you wake up it's like, how many years has it been? How long have my memory been in stasis? Yeah, you can think about you can think of all sorts of scenarios where you you may even have like like stealth missions or like um, uh, these missions where you're gonna you're gonna go in and intentionally um, like okay let's say let's say say you go to a cloning facility and you intentionally go in and 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 set the thing offline or so it redistributes or transmits all the people who are gonna need to be cloned to a a a, a ship nearby or or state another station so that everyone that gets cloned in and like it's it's like and then you then 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 what you do is you set up a disaster, right? As you blow up a station or whatever, right? Everyone gets cloned at a facility away from there. Now you hold they'll hold them hostage. And you didn't you're doing it at an unknown location. You can like holding hundreds of people hostage. Gosh dang! I mean, it could open some it could open up some interesting gameplay mechanics. It could in that regards. It's not it's not terrible. Um. Yeah, show me the whiteboard design uh, drawn designs. Uh. There's a there's potential. I mean, there is. I'm just worried about the instant transmission thing. I think there's got to be some way to. And, may, and once again, you could just mass effect it. You could say, look, we just copied the, we just copied the technology, like line per line, piece per piece, and we don't know how all of it works. It's like okay, like example. I'll give you an example. In Star Wars. They know hyperdrive. how to build hyperdrives. They know how to yep. modify them, but they're not exactly entirely sure how they work. They were found from an older culture. They don't know exactly the full details of the technology behind it, but they still use it all the time, and they can reproduce it, and they can make it, but it, there, there's an underlying tech to it that they just don't get. They don't understand. And no, no, this is a recovered. This was a recovered tech uh, found, found uh, uh, from, uh, I guess, from the wreckages from Van Duel or something like that. So this is not... This is this is like they they were they, they, they don't even know if it's Van Duel but they recovered it from Van Duel, and so that that's what I'm saying is that is because they don't they don't even so imagine said once again like like Star Wars where you can copy it, uh, but you don't completely understand how it works you don't understand the the science but what it really taps into or why, and so you know you can get the function, but you just can't get it to. If that makes sense. Because it said that like Star Wars, they know they 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 have hyperdrives. They build hyperdrives. They can make hyperdrives faster with the right you know modifications, but they don't fully understand how they work. 
Oh, wake up halfway through the body printing for a cool camera angle so you can see. I've, uh, ugh. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't want to wake up during that. That'd be pretty horrific. That'd be pretty terrible, actually. I mean, they talked about how you wake up with scars and broken limbs and stuff like that from traumatic injuries that you, that. And they said cosmetic surgery too to remove that stuff. Yeah. So, and that's an issue too. I mean, like they're gonna obviously then they have the intention of giving us cosmetic surgery. Um, which but makes... wouldn't that also mean that even though you've updated your clone at a facility, that somehow the transmission of your death. It's been sent to your new clone. How else does it know what you were feeling or what got hurt when you died? Well, also, how would your clone? How would your clone know what your plastic surgery was if you got plastic surgery? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, like, so like if, if you, you have your whole surgery, face modified, it's going on your DNA, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's not going you, wrong. You know, yeah. you, you, you're not gonna get. You're not. You're not gonna. You're not gonna wake up with. Uh, with with. With, with new cheeks. And, you're, and yeah. You're chin. not. Oh, what's, what's that stuff called? Um, Everyone checks it all this stupid time. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about, guys. I, I'm, I'm yeah. not. Anyway, or you're not gonna wake up with like fresh liposuction and all that other crap. You know, a new chin and and you know Michael Jackson's nose. Botox. And, Botox. That's it. You're not gonna wake up with Botox ejected in your face because that just yeah. doesn't make sense. Uh, so they aren't technical bodies, but yes, they're 3D printed. That's closer to that. They're 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 not. Um, they're not actually not clone bodies. That's actually correct. Uh, they are. They use your information, the echoes, and they recreate your body, memories, uh, physicality, everything that's from the imprinted echo, and um, you know that kind of goes that way. The sixth day. I don't think I've ever seen that one. This looks like this ship always looks like it belongs in in, in Ridley Scott's Alien. I just the sounds of the door opening and closed yeah. sounds organic. Yeah. Hey, how would they regulate this tech in the lore? Hero says, how would they be able to tell that the player isn't the original, especially if they die outside of UE space, no, with no satellites to pick up recording? Yeah. See, this is brings. Yeah. This is why, like, oh, you can't make a copy. Says who? It's a data stream, right? It's essentially is it a record? it's essentially a data stream. Who says you couldn't replace people this way? You know, yeah. you know evasion of the body snatchers, sci-fi version. And you just basically, you know, you, you 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 Yeah, you just come up with your own version of somebody. I mean plastic surgery is bad enough, but what if you can actually recreate somebody with through through use of uh, a focused trauma and whatnot, twist them, brainwash them, do whatever you need to do to get them to be the way you want them to be, and then send them out into the world imitating the person that, that you need them to imitate. I mean, ooh. How can you tell that someone is a legal clone? That I don't know. I don't know. Are they gonna put, yeah, it's like, a, is it for every clone that's legal, they're going to have a little transmitter in there, the number? Yeah, and the illegal and the illegal ones aren't going to have the transmitter. <laughs> it's like, who's going to want a transmitter then? Just you pay people to remove the transmitter. It's like, hey, I give you an extra few. You know, thousand Tyler, credits. I'm a moron. I'll, I'll give it to you after the stream. I, I forgot to give. Yeah, you, I know. I forgot to give you the gun. Gonna, I wasn't going to interrupt you. Oh, yeah, sorry. That. I, this is Tyler's gun on my back. He died on Star on Sunday, and I picked it up. And I'm trying to give it back to him. Uh, but yeah, I got a crime stat for dying. And I got and I got killed by a cop for not having a crime stat. Yeah, he literally he literally came after me and he was like, "You're," he was like, "You know, stop." I'm like, "I don't have a crime." And he, and he blew me up on the pad and then and then I woke up back in the station and I was like, "What the hell?" So yeah, I got killed by it was like you know a California cop, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna stay out here. We're, 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 I'm gonna stay out here because we're we're almost done with the the stream, I think. So I, uh, why not? Um, we get chip in our brains. Yeah, maybe. I mean, does it the quantum entanglement chip? How does it? How does exactly this is work? We have to have some sort of implant. I mean, you're right, wrong. And what keeps you from modifying or removing said implant? Yeah. So you're like, I'm an original. I'm not a copy. Wink, wink. It's like, <laughs> man, there's just a ton of questions on this, isn't there? It just, it just opens up more questions than I think we could ever hope to answer. You know. Again, it's true. They should have done. They should have made the game first and then added lore. I'm gonna go now back they're trying to go off. backwards. Yeah, as I said, there there there's some there's some odd questions that 
I want, I'll go out here so I can give you your gun. I gotta give him his gun back before I forget. Because I've forgotten twice. I don't, I don't, I don't, he, need, he, needs, he needs his pew pew. Um, Bill Gates was the father in print tech. Look, uh, now that I look at it. Oh no. Whoa! Get me started. What the oh, hell? We're what the? We're going what the? Ah! Ah! Whoa! What's going on? <laughs> I didn't do anything. What the hell was that? <laughs> what oh, the Jimmy that? jump crap was that? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Did we have an RCS malfunction? Oh my gosh, that was insane. <laughs> was I mean, the limiter at maximum when we took <laughs> off and it just shot Wow. Us All right. Was... This second, I, I made a mess uh, in the cockpit. I, I think I just pooped myself. <laughs> just, just pooped myself directly at my own ship. Wow. <laughs> help me, Rogo, help me. <laughs> Dang. Well, it's officially a Star Citizen stream, ladies and gentlemen. It had to happen right at the end, but at least we got there. I didn't die, I didn't die yet. The server just desynced. Yeah, I, I didn't die. It was, I, I, look, it's not my fault the system doesn't register it. I, I had a clone, and the game 30K, I mean the universe 30K'd, okay, yeah. and it lost the records. I swear, I'm the original. Yeah. I can't help it. The 30Ks are out there. They're, they're, they, they want, they're, like, they're like an astral phenomenon now. All right, leaving armistice zone. One second, like when I can start shooting. Okay, good. We're coming to a stop. There we go. I'm gonna give my brother back his gun. It better not fall out of the ship too. <laughs> bye bye S71. Luckily, this is a this was a good ship to take for this because I can actually you actually have space in the back, so I can you know it was like the Hornet. It would have been a bad idea. All right. The so, is special. oops. There we go. All right. So, oh, I hate inner thoughts so much. Uh, drop. <sighs> so weird. Now you want to use equip. All right. And then we should then you should hold R and it'll store it in your back because you chose equip. There you go. You got your gun back. Don't say I don't do anything for you. Don't shoot. Me. It, says, it says I have no bullets. But I, I checked my clips. There we go. Okay. Now it's acknowledging. There you go. Uh, I think is there a bathroom in here? Come think of it. This is the tech, the, the the textures and stuff in the ship. I have no idea what I'm looking for. or Looking at. I know there's and beds. Those there's, people, there's two look, beds. Look, I have a red. I have a red. Where do you? Nice red line. Where do you poop? Um, I want to run faster. So yeah, that's stupid red. Anyway, <laughs> I want to run faster. So I was get jars to shoot my legs off. So I can get cyberneck replacement. Cyber Citizen 2077. Yeah. 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 That's, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna replace limbs with faster limbs. You can get those Darth Maul like like goat limbs, the goat legs kind of thing. When he when he came back, I'm just the thinking lower half. of like apple seed, where you get cyborgs. Yeah. And they just keep replacing parts and stuff on on your body so that you can do more things. Where it's very rare to find a full humanoid that's that's all pure, not covered in stuff. All right, guys. Well, I think we covered everything today. Uh, I want to talk about, but just give us some thought. Read that post on the main website. Uh, as I said, there's, there's going to be Star Citizen Sunday is going to be on hold for a little while while I do Evo Cotty testing. In fact, that the stream ends today. Uh, I, 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 the, the, my launcher made a ding 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 sound before the launch. I think it probably means there, there may be a build. Uh, I'm going to go do that. And then, uh, of course, we have the, the Hangout on the Wednesday, and Friday, and Sucking at Fallout 1 continuing on Thursday. But, um, on the Star Citizen Sunday thing, you know, I may just still jump into the chat. I may not be playing Star Citizen, but if you want to come in there and just we can chat and hang out, you know, I'm down for that. I, I won't tell you what I'm doing in Evocati if I'm testing it, unless you're in Evocati. And if, if, if Rogo's in there, then then maybe I'll be I'll be you know, uh, in in the in the Evocati chat channel uh, with Rogo. But we'll we'll just play this by ear. We'll just play this by ear. So I I'm kind of excited to see what this build's all about. So. 
let's go ahead and get started on that. So I'm going to look for looking forward to downloading that immediately after I finish the stream. All right, guys. So thanks for coming out. You know, and this is this is just a complex subject with with many run-on ramifications for the entire gameplay, the verse, the lore, everything. And um, it might be worth discussing, like even on the forums. You just keep your eyes out. There's something there that you know, some idea that you have or whatnot. I don't know how much they're paying attention to that, but this is definitely a very pivotal, pivotal, pivotal. I can't speak. Um, kind of game change. Uh, while I'm normally interested mostly in flight, this is this the run-on effects on this man. It's just mind-blowing. All right. Well, we will see you on Wednesday. And uh, for the Hangout streams, if you stop it, I don't know. Those are just when I play whatever. And we will catch you in the next one. And thanks for the engaging conversation, guys. And it's, gosh, it's so much to think about, isn't it? Just so much to think about. All so right. many questions. Oh, and so little answers. All right. Send in the clones. Exactly. Be done. The Clone Wars have. I can't see. I'll get, I, I, I gotta try the game with coffee. Hold on a second. No. Mm. Uh, okay. Me, 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 me. Begun, the Clone Wars have. I, mean, I should just say it like Kermit. Uh, begun, the Clone Wars have. Hey, piggy. Um, so that would be better. I'm all just right. thinking how the forums are going to light up with all the different questions. What few we have, this is going to be a forum. It's just going to be full. Mm -hmm. I'll have to check later. Until the end. We're all clones now. We're all clones. It's official. We've all we've all gone to public school. Can uh, we ask Weird Al Yankovic to write us a song? I think you're a clone now. Actually, yeah, he, already, he, already, right. he already wrote that song. I know, but I want a new version. An updated version. All right, guys. We'll catch you later. Thanks for coming out. Bye. Bye-bye.